Hey, this is Charlie, and in about 15 days, a big adventure is coming, and I hope that you'll participate in it. You can be a part of it, and it can be fun. So let me put you up here and just tell you real quickly about this. Is on about the 1st of July, I plan on leaving in my pickup truck and going to all of the nation's capitals. I'll have to fly to two of them, but I'm going to drive to all the others, and I'm going to speak about our uh, nation's founding, our founding fathers, some of the founding documents that uh, established our nation, and one of them is the Bible. As a matter of fact, 34% of all of the quotes of our founding fathers came from the Bible. And so my challenge to you while I'm traveling around and uh, teaching these things is to read your Bible 30 minutes a day. And by doing that, you can actually be done in 154 days. It's a commitment that I'd like you to make. It's easy to dismiss the Bible whether you're a Christian or not a Christian to say, oh, I'm a Christian, I don't need to read it, or I'm not a Christian and I don't care about that. But unless you've read it, you really have no basis for saying that. And so I challenge each person to read their Bible from beginning to end, take them 154 days while I'm traveling to all the nation's capitals. And while I'm going, you can follow me. I have a website, which is uh, a blog, which is acapitaladventure.com. Or you can follow me on Facebook, which is a Capital Adventure, the 50 State Challenge. Or you can follow me on Twitter, where my name is Charlie Preacher. And uh, I'm going to try to make it interesting. I'll be posting fun photos and videos as I go to make it interesting. I'll have a GPS so you can follow where I'm at and track me. And um, the main thing, though, for you is to understand you spend a lot of time on your cell phones. You spend a lot of time in the front of the TV or on the computer. And Try spending 30 minutes a day reading the Bible and understanding that there is a God, that you are created, and that He loves you immensely. And He has given you His love letters in the Bible, and He's displayed it in the work of His Son, Jesus Christ. And I fully believe this. I fully believe that it substantiates itself and that if you read it, His Word will not return void to you in your life, but you will understand the nature of God and how wonderful He is and why our founding fathers believed what they believed and how they established this nation based on those principles. So please take this challenge, um, pass it on to others, get involved with maybe your church and have them follow, and I'd like each person, each Christian that's out there that's taking up this challenge to pray for the nation and pray for revival in this nation, and I believe that the problems that we're facing will just be swept away. They'll become The mountains will become level plains because of people turning their hearts to the God who created us and who established this nation for his wonderful purposes. So please do this. I challenge you with this. I love you. And I just hope you have a great year while I'm out traveling. And I hope to see you on the byways and the highways. Lord bless you.